Boozy! Here goes my kick deal. And then you fucking I go to the wrong address. It's fucking crazy, man. There goes my kick deal. It was fun while it lasted. Bear, I came to Long Beach. Are you kidding? I swear to God. Bro, what, you know where my office is at? Bro, you... You gave me the fucking address, I clicked on it, and I drove there, man. I swear to God, I have 51 minutes till I get there now. I, bet I gave you this exact address. And I clicked the address, Bear. Look at the text you sent me. I clicked that address. Look where it takes you. It takes you to Long Beach. All right, all right, we're here. We got food for you. We got everything. Done. Yeah, but I'm going to have a manic breakdown by the time I get there. Okay, but relax, relax. We got this covered. I don't even have water. I don't even have water. Okay, we will figure this out. Dog, you sent me to Long Beach, bear. Sure, I gave you the address. Look at the text, dog. Click the text. I swear to God on my mother, it takes you to Long Beach. Okay. Well, I'm headed there now, but it's another 51 fucking minutes. I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I know. I just got really triggered. I really triggered. Crazy, no edit to play me. My life is too crazy, no edit to play me. This is what you call a flip. Ten keys from a car to flip. And my name Boosty, I'm the president of seven. <laughs> <laughs> the one what? Hey, uh, Fousey, am I moving up to G6, five? Aiden, right now you are at G3, but you're doing a phenomenal job. All right, Fousey, I am inviting you to come to Miami Monday and Tuesday. Gym streams and everything. Monday, Tuesday, two IRL streams, back to back. Fousey. See, Crit Mac, you have no problem with I, Aiden acting like that, but you got a problem with me wearing a p I, I mean, hey, look, how do I say? Cause five beats your sound. Five beats your sound, all right? Fousey. Hey, hey, get to know me. I don't, I don't rep any gangs, but I rep seven. I'm a motivational speaker. G7, you want to know what that means? I really don't, but I know you'll tell me. <laughs> So if there was 0. 0.4 <laughs> seconds left on the clock in the NBA Finals and your team was down by two, a three wins it, right? The coach looks at you and says, hey, the ball's coming to you. What are you doing in that moment? Are you fumbling on your shoelaces and falling? Or are you throwing a parade in your city and making the shot? Yeah, within the five seconds left, yeah, you're going to go, yeah. That means that means you have G seven mindset. It's like Mamba mentality. Through this whole, you know, let's just call it a meltdown. Mm -hmm. I was there. Uh -huh. You rented out of the stadium. We don't need to say which one. Mm -hmm. Rented out, you know, this this whole concert series. I'm on stage with Bradley Martin. Everybody's going crazy. Mm -hmm. Pack this place out. Uh -huh. No one was doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. You run deep in time. Mm -hmm. I don't even think you were there, by the way. And then you know, gets canceled. Who knows why? And then we're outside, we're on top of an SUV. Mm -hmm. I go, yo, Fuzzy, there's a few SUVs over here. We could just stand on top of those, you could have a stage. And you're like, yo, let's do it. I ended up having to pay $75,000 to buy it. Yeah, so is that, is that story true when you ended up texting me a photo of the Yukon, the SUV? And you're like, yo, I gotta buy it now. Because mm -hmm. you smashed the entire back of the car. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I didn't smash the entire back, the roof came in a little. And you in the back of the car when you were jumping off of it, remember you broke the bumper? No, no, yeah. no, a little bit. No, no, little no, bit. No, 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 yeah, no. a little bit. Anyways, I paid seventy five dollars. Yeah, you bought my new car. First car. Mm -hmm. I took it to West Coast Customs, they fully restored it, mm -hmm. and I gave it to them. Fuck you type shit. The red one. And sometimes I'm on my humble shit. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm on my humble shit. Mm -hmm. I've been walking around with a chain that everybody thinks is not this one, this is Jackson. Yeah. I've been walking around with a chain everybody thought was $10,000. Mm -hmm. Got it for 60. I've been walking around in the same underwear for weeks. This, you, you gotta shower. This, I do that. I, to, goose. I do that to show them like money and material is never gonna fill that void that's so empty deep inside you. Just like sex won't, just like drugs won't, just like alcohol won't. Anytime you want more of something, that more is not gonna fulfill you. It's not about having more. It's about having what you have and it being enough. I had a podcast in 2016 called Mornings with Pussy. Logan Paul's impulsive that changed the podcasting game didn't come out until years after. I had a gaming channel in 2015. Gaming became one of the biggest things on YouTube. I had a blog channel, Joseph Fusi. I had a main channel. I had everything. The problem was I didn't have a team around me. I never got to just focus on being the talent. 
right now doing this G7 movement, yeah. I'm bigger than I've ever been. And they see that every day. Yeah. I'm back on their TikTok page. So they see that and they go, oh my God, I remember that guy. Then they see me on the street. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm introducing my face to millions of new people. Yeah. They know who the fuck I am. They've watched me since 2011. All I did was reintroduce myself to them. Somebody literally driving their car past me, a Fusi 2 G7. And you like it? Crazy right now. Do you love it? I never cared about that. People don't treat you like a human anymore. They literally don't. They walk up to you, they take a picture, they walk away. They didn't say hi, but then they'll go tag it on the Instagram and said, just hung out and had an amazing conversation with Fusi. You didn't even look me in the eye. I only appreciate it when the person comes up makes sincere eye contact yeah. and says like, hi, I support you. Yeah. Do you, you know do. I take Jake over the whole game any day of the week? I think I think they're both great at what they do and I think they're both unique, but they're in separate categories. I'm team Jake though. I'm on everybody's TikTok for you page and everything. Motherfuckers I haven't heard from in years are my DMs talking about, what's poppin' slime? You wanna come on my podcast? You wanna hang out? Can I suck your dick? Yeah, but let's hope that you do it in a good way this time. I think everybody wants to watch you win and be successful and not spiral out of control. Everybody. What's the beef with Twitch? Do you have beef or no? No, no, no. I got a non-exclusive deal with Kick. I could go on Twitch right now if I wanted to. But we're gonna stay with Kick. We won't stay with Kick. Eight yeah. security guards in my face. They then get aggressive. Nick walks away like a bitch, puts the camera on the ground. Fine. Fuck Nick, he's fired. I literally look at all of them in the face and I go, punch me right now. I will record it. Punch me. And they all, you know, do that thing like, <clears throat> I don't flinch an inch. Finally, they didn't want to smoke with you. They did. They wanted to beat my fucking ass. But you had that G7 mentality. Yeah. Was it going to happen? Yeah. So I start walking because I don't fight. I think if you fight as a grown man, you're a fucking pussy. Wow. You're a degenerate and you're a pussy. So to put your hands on another man, not in boxing or MMA, yeah. you're a fucking child, yeah. you have a vagina, and you're not hard. Bro, there's fights everywhere. I fired my assistant. Uh, I had this one social media friend that was using me. I told her to go fuck herself with a dildo. Like, it was bad. It was bad. You normally talk like this on the street? Now, yeah. Okay. So they real. see these viral moments, they and they see them. these, like, these, like, these, like, they're not shows because they really are who you are, but they're just these outlandish weeks at a time where you go, you just do your thing. Yeah, yeah. The people don't yeah. really know. You know why? why? You know why? Why? You can do everything right, right? You can be the ripest. Ripe means good, right? When that fruit is ripe, or is that bad? Ripe is like ripe. Right. Like right. Like when, when are you guys dumb? Yeah. You guys go to school? You should host a tutor session for Jackson. Y'all are idiots. <laughs> Oh, right. I got, I got hands. <laughs> I don't fight. I just talk a lot of shit, yeah, and I, I run away. I think it's time for you. Yeah. Time for you. <laughs> so do you have to apologize. I'm sorry. I can't you guys are so right smart. Means ready. You got to ready. apologize. Yeah. I'm and sorry. You got to apologize to both of them. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Guys. Yeah. You're, you're out of pocket. You got a ski you mask on, and it's not even snowing. <laughs> you look like you're ready to rob a <laughs> bank. I need you to take a lap, mix in a water, and you're gonna finish off these last two questions. Okay, can I say one thing? Yeah, go ahead, right boy. You can be the ripest apple on the tree. You can <laughs> take it off or put it on can your I tree. Talk, yeah, no. You can either put the mask all the way on or you take it off. I'm not talking to you with this skin mask. You could be the ripest apple on the tree. Okay. And there's still gonna be someone who okay. doesn't like apples. That means you can be the perfect person. You could say the perfect things. You could do the perfect things but there's still gonna be some motherfucker judging you. So it doesn't matter. No one's ever gonna know who you are. The only person who knows who you are is God and you when you're by yourself at home and you don't have to put any facades on. And then what happened? How did it turn into this kick deal where you're getting $15 million and now you're on kick running around? Look how crazy this works, right? Three year, 15 million. So everybody- Is that what we're doing, three year, 15 million? I'm not gonna say numbers. It's, it's gonna be crazy when it's announced. Oh yeah, on Twitch, 33,000 subscribers pays off $86,000. On kick, it pays out one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Oh, kick goes crazy. It goes crazy. Kick has eighty five percent. That's my, kick has that's my favorite guy to watch. That's my little brother. Um, I was joking around about a kick deal. All of a sudden, lines start getting exchanged. Everybody at kick, their main signer, um, train wrecks, Aiden Ross, everybody in my DMs. We want you. I'm like, I bet. Let's talk money. They send an offer. It's cute. 
the entire internet goes crazy. Fousey's capping, he's lying, ain't no way he got 15 million. He's a narcissist, just like they always do. Gets even better. Streaming on Twitch, have no plan to go on kick. I was going to Vegas to celebrate my deal. And I said, I'm gonna do it on Twitch. Cause I promised them, if I get a deal, I'm not gonna sell out. I'm not gonna leave Twitch. I'm still gonna stream on Twitch. In one week, Twitch banned me two times. So they banned me right before I went to Vegas. What'd you do to get banned? Um, one one, I said the F slur, the F word you can't say. And then the second one, I was texting and driving. And it should be doing that. I did that the whole way here, the dog ain't going Wow, I'm kicked now. I got their attention. Kick contacts me again. G7 showed up. And says, yo, we didn't know you were like this. If you can keep up the same numbers for seven days, no controversy, no scandals, no cancellation, your offer's gonna, the price just went up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Cali. Today's day six, I think. I started last Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today should be day seven. I don't know. I'm not gonna nap. But we here. Yeah. My shit's on 24 seven. Oh, you real? I got no time for this vacation. This is a whole different Fousey, by the way. Yeah, I'm final form. I'm ultra instinct. Yeah, this is this is this the same. G7 Fousey. Yeah, yeah this is, I've never seen this before. And, and my employee fucks up and almost fucks up my deal, I'm gonna cuss him out. I don't have time to stop. There was a girl who just called me. You shouldn't have put that on the internet, internet, my life. I look at Sarah on a message. I'm sorry. Do you want to be out of my life? I understand. That's it. I got no time. That's it. I got no time. That's it. I got no time to care for people's feelings, I love their it. emotions, their drama, or nothing.